The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again with episode three of The Road to Red. Now, guys, if you're new to the series, I will leave a link to the previous two videos in the description below. You guys can go check those out, uh, kind of get an idea of what we're doing with this series. The general concept here is that we want to take an all bronze squad and turn it into an all elite squad. That's our goal here in the series. It might take a really long time, but I'm hoping that we can eventually make it happen. So the first episode that you guys saw, we just did uh, the basic thing where we put together the draft. Then we went into uh, actually play draft champions. And at that point, we were able to actually make some upgrades to our team by getting some wins through draft champions. So uh, we ended up winning three games out of draft champions which means that we were able to make three upgrades now that meant that an upgrade from a bronze to a silver would be considered one upgrade and then obviously like a silver to a gold would also be considered an upgrade so what I decided to do was actually go in and upgrade a couple of positions here. So the first thing that I did was I upgraded a wide receiver to get Chris Conley. Now, this isn't a great wide receiver, and it had to be somebody that we actually got in our draft champions draft. So we did get Chris Conley. I wanted to get a wide receiver that I could actually use. He's not the best, but he does have 91 speed. So he's somebody that can actually beat the defense either on drags or even just going deep. So I, that's what I wanted to do with that. Now, if you go over to our defense, we also made one more upgrade. We did upgrade to a silver TJ Carey. Now, TJ Carey, again, is not a spectacular player. He's only 70 overall, but he's pretty much the only thing that I could upgrade to that I thought would be worthwhile, to be completely honest with you. So, this is the current lineup, guys. Oh, and also, I wanted to point out as well, we did also get our pack from doing draft champions, and in that, we got an Anthony Costanzo, so that got us to a gold as well. Uh, and then we also got a couple of random silvers, including in there as well but this is the all bronze lineup now the only exceptions are the upgrades that we've made the ones that we've got from the packs and then the only other upgrade or the only other ones that we got are the gold kicker and gold punter and I think we got the two ones that you could buy off of the uh, just like the store within uh, Madden ultimate team so they're two really poor kicker and punters they're not anything decent at all all the rest of the players are bronzes. Now, I will say that we did go through and we found bronzes that I thought would be the best considering my play style. Uh, so we've got some decent guys here like Swaim, who's actually pretty decent as far as a bronze card goes, 81 speed. He has decent run blocking, things like that. Um, and, and then we do also have guys like JJ Nelson, who are super cheap uh, as far as like salary cap mode. So people use those in that mode. Um, but other than that, we're kind of in a tough situation, to be honest with you. I think defensively is where we're going to really struggle. And then on the offensive line as well, I think we're going to have some struggles. But uh, you take a look at Matt Sims at quarterback, not a great quarterback, but I mean, as far as bronzes go, probably the best that I could do. He actually has a little bit of elusiveness with a 78 speed. Um, he does also have an 82 for throw at, uh, for throw power, 79 throw accuracy short, 74 throw accuracy mid, and just a horrendous throw accuracy deep. So I'm not really looking forward to trying to throw it deep with this guy, but it might have to happen from time to time. At running back, I'm actually thinking that I might be okay. The only thing that I'm really worried about is the 84 carrying with Darius Jackson. Um, everything else, he seems okay and to be honest with you, he's got 85 trucking along with 88 speed and 88 acceleration. So I'm thinking he might be a little bit of a budget beast, to be honest with you. Like if I was if I was looking at running backs and I had to find somebody that was bronze to use, I think this guy might be a pretty decent option. We'll end up seeing in, in what ends up happening on the field, but I'm, I'm okay with it for now. Now defensively, this is where it's just a disaster, to be honest with you. Like there, we really have nothing. We've got uh, McDonald who we got in a pack uh we, and other than that it's it's just horrendous like this is real real bad on defense um we're gonna have to pretty much score every drive i think to even have a chance in this but uh what we're gonna do guys if we do win a game we do get to upgrade one position from a bronze to a silver a silver to a gold a gold to an elite even if we want to we get to make one upgrade but if we lose we do have to downgrade a position so one of our silver guys is gonna have to become a bronze or a gold's gonna have to become a silver hopefully that makes some sense now, with that being said, guys, let's get into our first game of the season. This is going to be our first opportunity to either make an upgrade or a downgrade to our team. Wish us some luck, and we'll see what happens, guys. All right, boys, here we go. First game. There's my team. Gold, gold, silver, dear God. And my opponent has all of the limited use players, including Von Miller. This is going to be a freaking disaster. I can already tell. <laughs> okay, guys, first play of the game. 
We've got to try and make some stops here, man. This is not looking good. I don't like that my opponent has Cam Newton. He's moving a guy in motion, and he's going to snap it. Okay, and oh, oh, we nearly get a pick on the first play. That would have been amazing. Moving our guys to the left here. We want to stay strong on that side. And we've got pressure coming in. Get this sack on him. We're going to force a fumble and make a nice play there. About a six-yard loss on that one. So it's now going to be a third and 16. We're looking pretty good defensively so far anyway. But third and long is usually where I make mistakes. All right, guys. Third and long. Got to try and make some plays defensively here. We're going to put a man in spy. Try and make sure Cam doesn't take off on us. And we'll see what we can do here. Covering him over the middle. And we do make the tackle short of the first down. But I'm assuming he's probably going to go for this here. Fourth and three. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Here we go. Fourth down and three. Going to try and make a stop here. Covering the guy over the middle. We get the user pick in the red zone. Let's go, baby. Woo! Fua with the interception. Gotta love it, man. That is a huge play for us. And we are in the red zone on the first drive. Oh, my goodness. Very, very nice start to the game for us. All right, boys. First down. We're going to try and go deep here on the very first play. We'll see what we can do. See if he has the coverage. He doesn't. Oh, he just gets massive, massive pressure immediately, though, right up the middle. He sent a lot of guys there, so... Hopefully that doesn't happen every single play. We'll see what happens, though. I almost want to take my fullback and uh, or my tight end here and leave him in protection in case he blitzes again. So we're going to do that here, and we'll see if we can find anything going over the middle here. Got a man. Let's. That was a horrible throw, Sims. Oh, my gosh. Please tell me he's not going to throw it that bad every single time. Okay, guys, it's third and ten, and my opponent so far has sent two man blitzes. So what I think I want to do here is set a man in protection here and try and, uh, you know, make sure that we have plenty of time here to throw the ball. So I think what I'm going to do, yeah, let's do that, and then we will, okay, send that guy. All right, this should be good. Hopefully we can get Nelson open on the outside. We'll see what happens, though. Nope, he's covering it. We got Conley, though. Conley with a huge grab down to the one-yard line. Let's go, baby. All right, huge start to the game, boys. He actually didn't send a blitz that time, and user controlled that side of the field. So we're going to try and run the ball here out to the outside, and we are going to get stuffed, unfortunately. So that's going to bring up now a second and two. All right, boys, second and goal. We're going to try and run the ball again here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get in, but we'll try. Come on. Get that block. There it is. Let's go, baby. All right. Touchdown on the first drive. So we are up 7 to nothing early in this one, or at least 6 to nothing right now. We'll try and make the extra point. But a very nice start to the game for us, guys. Big defensive stop, and we get the touchdown. So this is a huge start to us right now in the road to red. Okay, so defensively, we've looked very good so far, I have to say. Got to try and keep that up here early in this one. He's going to throw it. Oh, man, right to the corner there. Good play by my opponent. Got his man wide open on that one. All right, he's running a little bit more of a big set here, and somehow we're off sides, of course, because this game is just broken as hell. And he's going to pick up seven on that one, it looks like. Really frustrating, man. It's really, really frustrating when you're just randomly off sides for no reason in this game. Like, I, I don't understand why they that hasn't been fixed yet. All right, second and two here. He didn't actually decide to uh, take the free down there in the five yards, which is kind of surprising, but I guess he wanted the yardage. Oh, and we nearly were there for that one on the interception. That would have been nice, but it does bring up a third and two. So I think what we should do here, this guy has only passed the ball, I think. So I'm, I'm thinking we're still going to want to keep running some, uh, some coverage plays here. Um, and he's thrown it short mostly over the middle. So uh, maybe we'll bring some heat on him here and see if we can get anything going. Okay, so he's only, like I said, thrown the ball on this one. Yeah, he's got a man wide. Wow, I don't know why he didn't throw that over the middle. But all right, so that's going to bring up a fourth down. It looks like fourth and one. Going to try and stop him here again. All right, so I'm assuming my opponent is probably going to pick this one up pretty easily. Um, I'm not really expecting to stop him here, but we're going to try to. We'll see if we can stop him. Yeah, it doesn't look like. Very close, though. That was actually a really close thing to be in a stop there. My guys are celebrating. Are they saying that they made the stop? We might have made the stop there, boys. We might get a, a challenge here, but that looks pretty damn good. I thought for sure he picked that up, but uh, yeah, our guys are celebrating, so that looks pretty good, man. All right, it looks like we're getting the ball, boys. Two fourth down stops. That is a huge start to the game for us, man. Very, very nice. And we're going to start moving the ball on offense here. We'll try to anyway. This guy has pretty much ran man coverage every single play so far. So, I mean, that's going to be easy for me to exploit over time if I can just get a little bit of protection. 
Boom, there it is. Go, Conley. All right, let's go, man. Big play there. Three of five now for Sims. 36 yards. Another man coverage play there by my opponent. So as long as we've got time, I think we're going to be able to exploit this guy's defense. And it looks like we're getting a rage quit, ladies and gentlemen. The connection to your peer has been lost. We're up 7 to nothing here. We are going to get the W, I think, in this one. Either way, even if the game screws me, we're taking the W on that. So let's go, man. We get the W in the first game. Woo! We're getting an upgrade, and we'll see what, guys, what we should upgrade here in the next screen. So there you have it, boys. We get the W. We are 1-0 in our road to red. Whew, I can't believe we won that game, man. We were going up against all of those limited use cards. That is pretty damn impressive that we were able to do that. We got pretty lucky, I think, being matched up against that guy. I don't think he was very good at the game. Uh, but either way, man, I feel pretty good about it. Let's go over here and take a look at my lineup so that you guys can kind of see what we're working with. Again, what I'm going to need from you is you guys need to let me know in the comments section below what position we should upgrade because we can upgrade any of these things one slot, meaning we can take this left tackle and turn him into an elite, any elite that we want. Um, I, I'm typically probably going to go with something a little bit cheap, but, uh, you know, something effective anyway. So don't go over the top. Don't tell me you want this to be, you know, like an Odell Beckham Jr., you know, like an Antonio Brown or somebody just ridiculous. It's got to be, you know, it's, it's got to be something realistic. You know, we can't upgrade Conley to one of those things. Um, we can upgrade, upgrade them to an elite, though, and that's really what the goal is. So uh, what I want to do is try and get as many guys upgraded in the shortest amount of time as possible. You guys see how I play. So wide receivers are pretty important for me, so we might want to upgrade a wide receiver, uh, but I would really love to get somebody on the defensive line that can do some damage. We do have Smith here who gets some good pressure for me, and actually this Charles, or, uh, just Johnson guy actually does a pretty good job as well. Um, Cam Johnson, he actually, I think, has done pretty well for me um, when I was watching the uh, highlights there in that game. But uh, basically, guys, again, what I'm looking to do is to have you guys let me know in the comment section below, what should we upgrade? Should we upgrade TJ Carey to a gold? And if so, which gold should we upgrade him to? Should we upgrade one of these other guys to a silver? Let me know in the comment section below. So I need you to tell me, number one, what position do we upgrade? And then number two, who do we upgrade them to? So keep in mind, we can only upgrade it one at a time. So it's got to be a bronze to a silver, a silver to a gold, a gold to an elite, you know, something along those lines. So again, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Whatever one I'm most excited by, we will probably do. So le again, let me know in the comment section below what I should do. And we'll let you know at the beginning of the next episode what position we actually upgraded. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.